ordinarily, taxes and subsidies in normal functioning markets increase deadweight loss. We saw that earlier. However, this is no longer true in markets with externalities. In fact, taxes on goods with externalities can reduce deadweight loss, as well as, of course, raise government revenue. These are called Peguvian taxes, after the economist Arthur Pigou, who invented the idea of using taxes to reduce the deadweight loss from externalities. A Peguvian tax is a tax on a good with external costs. Going back here, by imposing a tax on the good, you can push the costs to the private supplier, the private costs, up until they are equal to the social costs. And then at that case, at this higher private cost, the amount that the market will demand and produce will be the efficient equilibrium. When talking about external benefits, we can talk about the opposite, Peguvian subsidies. Peguvian subsidies are taxes on, or a subsidy on a good with an external benefit. When you have a subsidy equal to the external benefit of the good, it shifts the demand curve up and makes the market efficient. The new market equilibrium is the efficient equilibrium. A Peguvian subsidy, therefore, reduces deadweight loss and increases social surplus. Here's our private demand curve. By subsidizing purchases, we can shift this private demand curve up so the private value is equal to the social value. If the external benefit is $3, then a $3 subsidy will make the demand curve look like the social value curve. And in that case, the market equilibrium will be the same as the efficient equilibrium.